We're still here talking to the Miss Namibia Top 12 finalist and I'm talking to Nongge. Nongge, how are you feeling, girl? I'm feeling so, so, so excited, so grateful. This is a dream come true. Yes. And it's just the first step to a very new story. I'm very excited, I'm feeling incredibly blessed. Awesome stuff. So, what were your thoughts on the runway? Oh gosh, the thoughts on the runway was just, girl, give it your best. You are here now, this is a dream come true, give it your best and let them just see how happy you are to be here. Awesome stuff. And why do you think the judges, you know, chose you as one of the top 12 finalists? Oh, this is a very difficult question because my fellow contestants were all amazing. I learned so much from each of them. However, I can only speak at length about myself because I only know myself this well. <laughs> well, I believe that throughout my interviews, I made it unequivocally clear that I'm very passionate about advocating for youth socioeconomic development. And because of that cause and because it's so relevant in today's times, I believe that the judges just resonated with what I was, with what I was explaining. And yeah awesome stuff and what do you look forward to most for your journey ahead what i look forward to most is learning and engaging in order to become just a better version of myself okay. so that i'm better able to impact my community and impact young people that is what i'm looking forward to most awesome stuff nonge all the best and we look forward to following all your journeys thoroughly thank you so much <laughs> i believe the covid 19 pandemic has shown just how powerful the ministry of health is they are incredibly influential in our society. However, as we look forward to our future post-pandemic, I believe we should join the hands of the Ministry of Health and insist on a good service provision throughout our country, not just in our urban areas, but in our rural areas as well.